Chapter 10, Chemical Bonding. <coughs> so um, back in eight, 1989, researchers discovered the structure of HIV protease, which is an enzyme that uh, HIV needs to replicate itself. And so based on the structure of HIV protease, which is represented, um, no, that's in, in Dinavir. Based on that structure, they were able to use bonding theories to model how different drugs would interact with the HIV protease molecule. The way it, enzymes work, if you're not familiar with that, is they have an active site. There are these big, 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 big molecules, proteins, really. And this active site will interact with a particular molecule, and then it will do its function. It's sort of like a lock and a key. And so by modeling that active site, they could find um, different options for something that would block the active site, essentially jamming the lock so that the thing couldn't operate. And so what they came up with was in Dinavir, um, which effectively blocks the HIV protease. Doesn't cure someone of AIDS, but it stops HIV in its tracks as long as you take the medication the, the virus, it, you know, can't function. And so this is a huge, huge breakthrough. And bonding models, bonding theories, make research like this possible. Instead of randomly trying different things, you can narrow it down to things that are more likely to be effective. So bonding theories predict how atoms bond together to form molecules. We've been talking about molecules but we haven't really talked about why they form or how. We just said there are atoms that are stuck together. Now we're going to find out how they're stuck together. These bonding theories help us to predict what combinations of atoms will form compounds and which ones will not, and um, help us to predict the formulas of compounds. And then they also help us to explain the shapes of molecules. And the shapes of molecules are actually quite important in, in understanding their properties and chemical characteristics. So there are different bonding theories. Uh, the Lewis theory is the simplest one. Um, it's the easiest to understand, and it's really good for making quick, everyday sorts of predictions. And so that's what we're going to start with. 